Hello, and welcome to the series on testing strategies for the ACS Organic Chemistry Final. So um, this lesson is going to be on acids and bases. How about that? And so um, we're going to talk about you know what makes things acidic, what makes things basic, and being able to determine that. Okay, so the which structure? Um, this one is the predominant form, pH seven. Okay, so this is typically it's done with with amino acids, and what you need to look at are pretty much the, the carboxylic acids and the, the amines. That's pretty much generally how it is, um, what, what it's looking for. And so you can kind of think about what the form is going to be um, if you have an amine um, versus the, this, the carboxylic acid. So at low pH, right, we're going to have a lot of hydrogens around. Okay, so what that means is you're going to have, this is going to um, take up a lot of, uh, that's going to take up an extra amine or take up an extra hydrogen to, to, to give a positive charge. Uh, the carboxylic acid is also going to um, shove a, a hydrogen on there, um, so with that, and so it gives it overall a, a formal charge of, of zero. Now at neutral pH, uh, everything's going to be charged, right, because there's only some um, hydrogens around. So this one is going to be a plus charge. This one's going to be a negative charge because neutral pH, remember the pKa of this is, is right around... Um, Right, right around five, so above it, it's going to be charged. Below it, it's not, because the uh, we're going to be shoving that hydrogen on there. Um, at high pH, there's not going to be very many hydrogens sticking around, so it's not going to be able to grab this, right? So with that, and so this will be overall uh, neutral, like this. Um, but this is going to, but this is again, it's it's above. We're going to be a above the pK of the, the carboxylic acid, so again, it's going to be um, negative. So if you can kind of remember low, low, neutral, and high, you're probably going to be okay. Something like that. So at, at pH 7, which is neutral, right, we're going to have um, the, um, the amine have a plus charge and the carboxylic acid have a negative. Okay, so here, the, um, so this one, here, this one has, this is neutral, so like that, so that can't be it. Both of these are neutral, so that can be it. Right here again, the the NH2 at neutral pH. This has to this would have picked up a, a hydrogen, um, so with that. So this is probably the case of, of high pH, so with that. So pH 10, 11, something like that. Um, and then here, this is the the Zwitterionic form. And so so here we go. So so this is a form you just sort of see without it. Right. This is probably the high. Um, the, excuse me, the low pH. So this is probably low pH here. This is this is probably high pH. And then this is the neutral um, pH form. Okay. So for this one, um, the, it's asking which of these molecules is the strongest base. Okay, and so remember, there's this. Um, if you have a, um, if you have a, um, the, uh, remember, there's this correlation between um, strong acid right going to uh, weak base All right so so that means strong base right is going to be a, a um, oh, excuse me a weak yeah strong acid or strong base would be weak acid sorry getting all twisted in my head okay so what we're really looking for is which one of these is the weakest acid Okay, so so that might be a, an easier way of thinking about it. So for that, so for here, the uh, um, right, so, so the most acidic hydrogen on all of these. It's a good rule of thumb of, of if it's a hydrogen not on a carbon. Like that, so it's probably going to be the most acidic. So for it's going to be here, 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 and here. Okay, but the next step is do you, um, right. So they're all sitting on oxygen, so, so that's that's kind of a tie. The next thing is adjacent um, pi bonds, and all of these have um, are part of phenol. Phenols are m much more acidic because they've got that um, pi bond immediately adjacent to that to the, um, the that acidic hydrogen, um, so like that, that the atom with the, the acidic hydrogen. This one does not. So this is the this is the um, the the weakest, um, the weakest acid of the bunch, so this would be the strongest, strongest base. Okay. So the other thing is, 
the most acidic. Okay, so if you have um, a hydrogen, uh, like a, a CH bond, like this, right, that's next to a C double bond O, that makes it much, 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 much more acidic. Okay, so this is cyclohexane. So this is used as a solvent. So it, that's not going to be it. Okay, this one here, we've got. This one is next to one C double bond O. Here it would be right there because again it's going to be next to C double bond O. Okay, this one here um, has not only um, this one has not only one C double bond O but another C double bond O as well. Okay, so the more C double bond O you have next to it, the more acidic you're going to be, and so this would be the most acidic. So again, so, so labeled um, which label proton is is the lowest pK. So the steps we're usually going to be for figuring out acidity for something like this is is the first step is is you know find the most um, the most acidic hydrogen. You just got to find it in there, and it's probably um, it's probably not uh, a CH. <laughs> That's a general rule of thumb. Okay, because what you're going to want to do next is if you've got um, the uh, next is to say um, the atom attached um, t to the acidic hydrogen. You know, it's a, so it's it's closer to um, closer to iodine. It is um, on the periodic table um, more acidic. Okay, so you, you can kind of think about the fact that HF is a weak um, is a weak acid. Okay, chlorine's a strong acid. Um, HBr is is more acidic than than HCl, and HI is closer or is is more acidic than HBr. Okay, so uh, an SH bond is going to be more acidic than an OH bond because the uh, because it's closer to iodine. It all has to do with actually bulk. Right, so that so there's there's more electrons between um, the uh, an SH bond than an OH bond because the sulfur is just bigger because um, it's got all those extra core electrons. Okay, so it just simply can't hold it as tightly um, as, as the smaller uh, as the smaller molecule. So about that. So for here, right, we've got OH, CH, OH, OH. So about that. So we can go ahead and eliminate that one, right, because oxygen is is um, closer to iodine on the pair table than carbon is. We can get rid of that one off the top of heads. So, so now we're down to these three. Okay. So the next step would be um, a adjacent pi bonds. Now it doesn't matter. You know, you can have carbon, carbon double bonds, carbon oxygen double bonds. Does matter. Um, stuff like that. So for here, so so we look at the here, here, and here. Right, so this one has a uh, um, a Jason pi bond on it, so that's gonna be pretty acidic, so just like this one does. Right, this has carbon oxygen um, the uh, on it as well, and the uh, um, the uh, but this one does not, so we can get rid of this. Okay. So the uh, the next thing would be um, adjacent um, electronegative atoms. And again, the cl for electronegativity, it kind of um, that one is having to do with fluorine, right? So the closer you are to fluorine, the more electronegative you are. Okay, so this one has doesn't have any electronegative atoms around it, so the uh, um, right they're just all carbon. But this one has this oxygen um, next to it. It um, again, you if you're having you know, stuff like that. And so this one is the most ac acidic. Okay, you could think about pKa's, right? So that that might be an easy way to do it. Plus the fact that this is this functional group is called a carboxylic acid, so it's got to be pretty acidic. Um, like that, the uh, um, you could look at pKa's if you remember that. But if you remember this one here, this is the, this is about the best way. So if you're looking at something like um, you know chlorine, you know hydro, you know versus fluorine, right? So with that, so chlorine is closer to the uh, chlorine is um, versus fluorine. Fluorine is some electric more electronegative, and so between these pair, this would be the most acidic. Okay, it does make a difference on on distance and stuff like that. And so if you had, um, 
say this versus this, right? Fluorine, this fluorine is farther away from this OH than this one, so in this case, this would, this would be the, the more acidic. So, oh, there you go. Good luck.